Please, uh, man of God, can you throw some light on this issue on miracle money that every man of God wants to perform today? First of all, there's nothing like miracle money. It says calm. There's nothing like it. There's no verse of the scripture that says there's miracle money. It's not even in the Bible. There's nothing like it. So, Brother Paul said, he that does not walk should not eat. If you don't walk, you, sh you shouldn't eat. There's nothing like miracle money. I believe in miracles. That God can give you miracles. What kind of miracles? Healing of your body. Restoration of your body. God can give you favor with people. God can give you ideas, concepts, insight. But you still have to walk. You still have to do something. You still have to get involved in commerce, industry. That's what is crippling Africa because the, the Christianity is big and Christians are taught to just be docile and wait for manna from above. No, we have to be creative. We have to be innovative. The richest people in the world today are not Christian. Isn't that shocking? They are not people who pay tithe. The richest people on earth today have never paid tithe. They don't even believe in the existence of God. That should instruct you that this world has been created by God for man so man can engage his mental faculty, engage enterprise, engage you know, creativity and innovation and turn what God has created into products that can bring money. Elon Musk is one of the richest men on earth today. But if you look around, you see his product, you see his satellites, you see his cars, you see his companies. He's providing services. People are paying. That's why he's rich. So a child of God ought to get involved in industry. I used to tell Christians, the books we read in school, our commerce books were not written from the Bible. Economics was not written from the Bible. Business administration, they are not materials from the Bible. Why? Because there are rules that govern making money in this world. And Therefore, that's why you went to school to go and study so you can engage and make money for the services you provide society. There's nothing like miracle money, but God can give you a miracle of favor where somebody who has, a, has made money can support you. Where somebody who has made money by working can give to you. And that's what we saw in the ministry of Jesus. And the only verse, the only verse this miracle pet money peddlers are using is that verse where the Bible says, Jesus said, go by the sea, you will find a fish, open the mouth of the fish, there is money in the mouth, pay tax. But you have not looked at the historical analysis because that scripture was written by an eyewitness eyewitness account somebody could have dropped the money by the river somebody could have dumped the money and the fish swallowed it and then when they opened the about they found it there but it's not even a miracle money because every country the central bank of that country is the only legal entity that is permitted to produce legal tender god is not a criminal he cannot be dropping money from the sky god cannot do that that's criminal see if god was a criminal jesus would not be born through the womb of a baby he will have fallen from the sky and said come on to me so that everybody will see that it's spectacular but why did god come through the legal way of being born enter the womb of a woman stayed for nine months they delivered him as a baby he grew and grew and grew to become a man because god does not break laws he's not a law breaker so if if cameroon has a central bank that produces cds then if god wants to i mean uh Cephas, if god wants to bless you he will use somebody that has already made Cephas from central bank cameroon to give to you as an investment or as favor but not that money is falling from the sky those men of god that say that why is it that after they preach it they now ask you to give them why don't they close the church doors and command the money to fall from the sky it's fraudulent and don't be scammed and that's why you must have knowledge okay uh